Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will talk about how photographers or people who have in cameras are stopped in public. Stay tuned. Welcome back. What inspired me for this video was that people have been messaging me about certain incidents uh, with photographers and camera clubs and even ordinary people. They take their cameras and they go have photo shoots or walk arounds, taking pictures of the landscapes, the buildings, and life in general. These people were apparently stopped by the security guards and telling them that they could not take the photos of the buildings and the surroundings. Strange though that when these people were stopped, they were stopped because they had a DSLR camera. They were allowed to take photos, the same photos that we're going to take if they use their phones. Which reminds me, what are the laws regarding taking your camera and taking pictures out in public? First, there is no law specifically stopping you from taking pictures in public, especially when you're on public property. There's a difference between public spaces and public property. Public property is basically uh, property that is or land or areas that are owned by the government and are open to the public. Public spaces are technically private properties such as outside the mall uh, in say Bonifacio High Street. It's private property yet they're open to the public. They're public spaces. Now just remember uh, what I'm going to give you is generally general advice, not specifically legal counsel advice. If you want more details on how to act in public as a photographer or taking pictures, try to consult a lawyer. There should be one general rule about taking pictures in public. If you can see it, you can shoot it. Just with the camera though. Meaning, if it's visible to the eye, then there's nothing wrong or it's not illegal to take pictures with either your DSLR camera or your uh, phone. Again, if it's in public and anybody can see it, you can take pictures of the buildings, the surroundings, and in, even in people in general because they are in public. The rule is changed or the rule is different when it comes to private property. I'm going to split hairs here. If you're inside the property, such as in a mall, you can be stopped by the mall owners or the security guards from taking pictures, whether it be on your phone or with a professional or large DSLR camera. The rule is within their private domain enclosed in an area they control, they can control the activity, whether it be singing in public or taking pictures. But if you are in a public space outside the private property, such as on the street or on the sidewalk, you can take pictures of that private property as long as it can be seen in public. Which means if you're on the street, you can take pictures of an office building. You can take pictures of the frontage of a mall. You can take pictures of the cars passing by. You can do all these activities as long as you don't trespass on the private property. Going back again, what if you're inside the mall? Is it private property? Yes. You're allowed inside? Yes. Are you trespassing? No. But they can still control your activity within or inside that private property. It is not technically public space because the mall owners, for this matter, can control who can enter and who can exit and who can stay in the mall. If they don't like your Hawaiian shirt, they can ask you to leave. When it comes to taking pictures of fixtures, meaning non-inanimate objects, then you follow the first rule, where if you can see it, you can take a picture. Now, it, when it comes down to people, there's a little bit of a gray area, or there's a line between public and private. The rule is governed by not necessarily a law, but a principle called reasonable expectation of privacy. Under this rule, it, the person has to feel whether he's in a public space or whether he has a belief that what his activity is, is essentially private. For example, if he's walking along the street, walking along the avenue, 
walking around the mall, especially in these times of camera phones and uh, other devices that can record such as, Go such as GoPro, the expectation or the reasonableness of the expectation is lowered, meaning there's a high chance of being photographed or videoed, especially uh, with not just cameras or, uh, or phones, but with CCTV, security cameras. Now, if that person is in, let's say, in a dressing room or in a restroom, there is a greater expectation of privacy. Because in that situation or in those areas, people expect to be private. People expect that no one can see them, what they're about to do or what they're going to do. To recap, if you're a photographer doing a walk around or a photo shoot, remember the two rules. If you can see it, you can shoot it. Second rule you should remember is that when you're taking photos of people, take note of the reasonable expectation of privacy. Is it high or is it low? If the reasonable expectation of privacy is high, then you may not be allowed to take their photos or at the very least post it where you upload your photos. People are scared now of social media, its impact. So people are wary or cautious of whether they want to be seen on other people's social media platforms. Again, this is just general advice, not necessarily legal advice in particular for your situation. If you find an issue that's affecting you and you need legal help, please seek out a lawyer and ask for proper legal advice. I thank you for watching this video. And to all of you, click away. Hi, please do me a favor and smash that like button. It'll help me a lot and it will trigger the YouTube algorithm. Now, if you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel. If you don't, my dog will eat this exam booklet and that student has to repeat his final exam again.